Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this two in one necklaces. One is Beauty and the Beast inspired necklace, and the other one is single rose. We're gonna be using some former clay. The one that I'm using is Accents by Primo Sculpey. Sorry if I'm sound sick, but hopefully my voice doesn't bother you too much. I'm working with transparent former clay, but I'm going to just grab a piece like this and I'm going to just keep on rolling, baby, until it's like this. Thin enough, but not too thin because then it tends to break. And then I'm just going to be working on the shape of the rose. This is going to be what I do. Rolling and, and rolling it again. And then uh, going underneath there. And then I'm just going to cut the excess with my X-Acto knife. For the branch, I'm going to take a smaller piece of that clay, the same clay, and I'm going to add it underneath my rose. And then for the tiny leaves, I'm just going to grab another piece of clay, roll it into a small bowl, and then just uh, work on the edge like that, like pushing it towards my hand. And then I'm just going to place it like so. I'm going to be adding two. And then since I'm going to be baking this, I have decided to transfer it to, into a piece of parchment paper. And then I decided to use some translucent liquid sculpey. This thing adds like a glue after you bake your clay. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit in there. And I'm just going to uh, gather those pieces together. So I'm just going to be making two necklaces. I'm just going to take some ear wire. And I'm just going to remove that part with my pliers. And I'm just going to um, make my rose a charm by doing that. For the Beauty and the Beast inspired one, I'm going to be taking another rose that I made and I'm just going to work on the uh, glass jar. I'm just going to cover pretty much with another piece of clay and I'm just going to go around it. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it until I feel like it's uh, long enough and then I'm just going to go and add the base. And then to make this a necklace or a charm, I'm just going to go and take another piece of clay, like a small one. Uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing that I did before with my ear wire and I'm just going to place it in there. And then to glue it, I'm just going to take my TLS again and I'm just going to uh, set it up and then both pieces go to the oven at the same time. Once that that is baked and hardened. I'm just going to be taking some gold acrylic paint and I'm just going to uh, cover the whole piece with my brush and just I'm going to be giving this few coats of that gold paint. The same is going to happen for the uh, Beauty and the Beast inspired one. You can paint it into whatever colors you feel like. I just went for gold. And once it's done, I decided that I needed something else color-wise. So I just made my own kind of, I don't know, gold color. And then mixing my gold, my copper, and my black. And making kind of like a darker gold. Um, then I took my sponge. And then I went and covered like the glass jar. And I think this looks much better than it was before because before it was like too plain and then for this one I decided to just go ahead and cover the whole thing because I loved the look of it on the other one. To make these two pieces necklaces I'm going to be taking this chain or necklace ready to go that I bought at Hobby Lobby and this jump ring. But right before I do that I realized that the loop was in a bad position so I just arranged that and that is because I need to place my jump ring. Once my jump ring is in there I can just go ahead and place the chain. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, this is pretty much the ideas that I wanted to share. I'm pretty excited about Beauty and the Beast, the movie. It's coming this year. One is more uh, Beauty and the Beast inspired. The other one is just like a plain rose that you can use or wear all year round. Let me know which one is your fave. I think my fave one is the one that is Beauty and the Beast inspired, but I like the rose as well. So hopefully you liked them. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to visit cutesimplestuff.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye guys.